everybody wants to be heard. That's why I've never taken criticism personally. When people really leave my show, they just stop listening. They don't inform me of it. By the way, because of the platforms, the number of platforms I'm on today, I get more hate, more ugly comments, more threats, more boycott tweets than ever before. And that's okay. Yell, scream, call me an idiot. People want to be heard. That's why I don't take things personally. When people really leave brands, restaurants, leagues, TV, they just leave. To all my media brethren, don't take the insults personally. When you're connected to something, when you've been a customer, a fan, a viewer, a listener, sometimes you're just pissed and want to be heard. I'm the same way. I love how Colin Coward has recently spoke about the rampant trolling that goes on here on YouTube. In my endeavors in creating content here, I often expect it. I'm lucky, I guess. My videos average a 95% approval rating or above. And it would be higher except for the haters that come on and attack me for talking about Tua Tagovailoa and the competitors that try to suppress my content. You see, there's a problem with the Miami Dolphins fan base. And people have to admit it. There's an absolutely insane, maniacal group of Tua super cultists. These people insist upon putting their fanaticism about Tua over the welfare of the Miami Dolphins team. They don't understand that the team should always come first. Players, they'll always come and go. Let me explain. The Miami Dolphins were founded in 1962 as an AFL franchise. They became an NFL team in 1966. In the 56 years since the team has been founded, thousands of players have come and gone. Other than the 100 or so current players on the Miami Dolphins roster, every single other player who has worn the uniform is gone. They no longer remain on the roster. What remains is the team. What's always most important is the team. When people idolize a player over the team, a fracture develops, which isn't good for the organization. And that's what's happening right now. There's an entire cult of Dolphins Twitter that will troll you and attack you if you don't wear the Tua ribbon. It's pretty pathetic, which is par for the course on Twitter, but it's happening here on YouTube as well. I've seen this happening. It's a phenomenon that happened in politics, and now it's happening in sports as well. And undoubtedly, you've seen some of their comments on my videos here on YouTube, and I have no doubt more will show up on this video. They feel that if you say one bad word about Tua, if you criticize Tua whatsoever, you must be dealt with severely. And it doesn't matter if you previously praised Tua. It has to be ongoing. There can be no denigration, no criticism whatsoever. In my case, I went from a Tua near or Tua stan or Tua non to a Tua hater in one video. Think about that for a second. That's kind of psycho. They say I turned my back on Tua. They say I flip-flopped on Tua. They say I jumped off the bandwagon of Tua. Nothing could be further from the truth. Yet they take every chance that they possibly can to lash out. But like Colin said, they still watch. They still comment. They're still here. And also like Colin said, this isn't an airport. If you're looking to depart, you don't have to announce it. When a restaurant sucks, which is pretty seldom here in South Florida, I just wouldn't go back. I often get excoriated or an attempt to be excoriated on Twitter for what I say here in my YouTube videos. But you know what? If I have an opinion, I'm gonna say it. This isn't the Tua Network. Nope, it is not the Tua Network. I'm a big fan of Tua Tungavailoa, a huge fan of Tua Tungavailoa, but there hasn't been anything positive to report since before December 25th. When Tua skipped those Super Bowl week interviews, I knew things were gonna get bad. I made a video and I told you all that was a huge PR blunder. Many of you thought and said I was nuts and didn't know what I was talking about. But one thing I do know is marketing and I knew what would be coming next. Some of you even said Tua doesn't need the media. Okay. And then some people said, who cares what the media says? Well now, a month later and the deluge has begun and you have people freaking out because the media is hammering Tua. So obviously, you do care what the media thinks and says. They constantly try to attack anyone who speaks anything negative about their anointed one. I hate to be the one to break it to you, but Tua is a football player. That's all he is. He's a football player. Nice guy, nice human being, but he's still just a football player. Nothing more, nothing less. Here's a fact for you. 
the Miami Dolphins will be here long after Tua hangs up his cleats. The problem that the cult is having, and it's most assuredly a cult, is that there is zero positive news right now about Tua Tagovailoa. Zero. None. No positive news anywhere about Tua Tagovailoa. And guess what? It's not going to change anytime soon. OTAs are non-contact. And you can bet your ass that contact will be restricted on Tua in preseason camp. Who knows if he'll even play in any of the preseason games. So we're basically looking at nothing good coming out of the Tua camp until at least September. So no, I haven't turned my back on Tua. No, I haven't flip-flopped on Tua. And no, I haven't jumped off the Tua bandwagon. There's just nothing positive to report coming out of the Tua Tonga by Loa camp. Every day it just seems like there's another news story coming out that casts another negative light on Tua Tonga by Loa. Let me know if I've missed something. I'd love to report something good about Tua. If you see something, let me know. But you won't because there's nothing out there. My feeling about Tua hasn't changed. I think he has shown that he can be an elite quarterback in the NFL when he's healthy. But in the NFL, you're only as good as your last game. So unfortunately, Tua missed the last game and the most crucial part of the NFL season. His early season stats and accomplishments are impressive, absolutely impressive, but it's old news. It's like looking at pictures and videos from a vacation, but then you close the photo album and turn off the video, and what do you have? Nothing. These stats that people spout support your narrative. There's only one stat that every player in the NFL really cares about. Did you win your last game? Ask any player, they want the ring. I guarantee you that Dan Marino would trade just about any stat or accomplishment for a Super Bowl ring. Well, we have the free agency period coming up on March 13th. We've got the NFL draft on April 27th. We got May 1st to see if they exercise his fifth year option. But other than that, there's nothing to talk about positive about Tua Tagovailoa. The Dolphins and Tua are doing a horrible job at PR. So if you don't like the negative slant, there's only one thing you can do. Actually, there's two things you can do. Stop watching the news about Tua. You control what you consume, not me. Your toxic comments and trolling doesn't stop a news story. Haven't you noticed that yet? It doesn't work in the media, and it definitely doesn't work on me. Or you can choose option two, which may be hard for many of you, which is basically buckle up and ride the wave for the next six or seven months and just see what happens. It's totally your choice. Absent positive news and positive engagement from the Miami Dolphins or Tua's camp, there's nothing positive gonna be said in the media. There's nothing to talk about. So everything is speculation. You may not like it, but that is what it is. No one is gonna continue to keep spouting stats from six months ago, not gonna happen. Every single person in the media sphere, including me, are focused on the current and the future. Maybe in September, things will change. I hope so. I personally, I want to cover a winning team. I want to cover Tua playing lights out. But until then, you get what's out there. I'm not going dark. You know the media is not going dark. So the stories are the stories. You either have to deal with them or choose not to. But in any event, your comments and your insults, they're not going to change the stories. They're not going to stop the media. And they're definitely not going to stop me from talking about things as well. So... Have at it. I'm up for the next five or six months. I'm going to roll with the punches and see what they come out with. Are you? Let me know in the comments. I know it's coming. Fins up. Is anybody catching on to this Barry guy? <laughs>